What is going on, Scalawag family? So we are back at it at another how-to video. We're gonna make feeders. If anyone has done any kind of YouTube search for feeders, there's usually kind of only two ways. There's the 55 gallon way, like steel drum, and then there's the five gallon bucket way. Um, 55 gallon drum is a little too much for me. Um, I'm not looking to do something that massive, but the five gallon bucket way is not gonna feed more than a week. Um, so I'm looking for something in between. So I actually went on Facebook Marketplace and found a guy that sells ingredients drums. It's a 15 gallon drum, guys. It's commercial grade, so it's a thick plastic. It comes with a, uh, a ring, a steel ring around, and then it's got a, a moisture blocker ring in the inside of the lid. So no moisture gets inside, which is great. And then I just mounted a Maltry all-in-one uh, feeder. And then I uh, sealed the screws off as well. So we're gonna see how these, how these work. All right guys, let's get into the video on how we made it. All right guys, so let's start with the, uh, the feeder kit portion. Um, I'll go ahead and leave this link in the description below. So if you guys are interested in buying, I bought it right there off of Amazon, they're like 35 bucks. You can't beat it. Comes with your hardware. Okay. So the feeder, the bottom of the feeder screws off, so it's easy access. Comes with four AA batteries, and then you just program of how many feeder feed, feedings you want. It's easy to screw back in. Okay. The other side is adjustable, so you can you can do as you know as, as wide or or short as you, you would like. Okay, so I got I went I got my barrel upside down, so I'm actually just gonna put it just barely like that. We're gonna go go ahead and get a sharpie, place it on the bottom, mark it where we want. That looks good to me, and we'll start drilling. Let's go ahead and mark our holes. Not a bad circle, guys. Alright, let's start drilling. Alright guys, so I just put the feet at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and line up the holes and just put the bolts in. And it should just go right in. Pretty easy. And I'm just gonna hand tight these. It's not trying to wrench down on these at all. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and tie the rope. So if you look at this handle, there's like a front and back, ideally. So I tied it on the back on this one. So on this handle, I'm gonna tie it to the front. And ideally, while I'm doing that, it should hang uh, balance. Again, doesn't have to be nothing pretty, as long as it holds. Um, the guy I bought the containers from says there's anywhere from 100 to 150 pounds of whatever ingredients it's carrying inside. So these handles should hold up just fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to find the balance. I'm gonna leave enough room 
So I can open the lid while it's still hanging. I'm gonna go ahead and tie the knot right about here. So ideally, it should hang. It should hang nice and balanced, just like that. And I still have enough room to take the lid off. All right, guys. There you have it. There's both feeders. We, I made them in less than five minutes. Each feeder cost me about 45 bucks. It was all said and done. All right, guys. Like always, like, subscribe, share our videos, help us continue to grow. Until next time, we gone.